Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering Scrabble by CS50's Introduction to Computer Science. Before we begin, I would like to thank you guys for helping me hit the 100 subscriber mark. So let's just go through the problem set. We are supposed to create a program that simulates the Scrabble game. And in the game of Scrabble, our players create words to score points and the number of points is the sum of the point values of each letter in the word. So these are the points associated with the different letters and to implement it, we have an array which represents the number of points for the given letter. So the first letter of the alphabet A rep is representing one point, B the second alphabet is three points, C three points and so on and so forth. So let's get started, yeah? Going through the code, the first few lines are the libraries that we have to include for the various functions we're using. And this is the array, which is the points associated to each letter of the alphabet. And this is the function prototype of the function that we are going to implement later on. This is prompting the two players to input their word. And here we call the compute score function, uh, which will compute the, to the sum of the point values of each letter in the word entered by the various players, which will be stored in this variable here. So the first step here is to complete the compute score function. Okay, so let's get started. So we are taking in the word given by player one, for example, and then we'll have to decipher and get the individual letters in the word and find the associated points to the letters and add the sums together. So it seems that we would have to use a for loop to index into every single character in the character array. So a string is nothing but a character array. So first to look through the individual letters, we will have to find the number of letters so that we can find how many loops that we have to make. So um, to find the number of letters in this string, we can just use string length and word, which is passed into this function. All right. And then we can store it into the length variable. So far, pretty simple. And then we will have to create a for loop whereby we loop through the string given by the user, the word given by the user and let's create a loop into i equals to zero i less than length i plus plus let's look through individual letters in the word to find the sum so how can we do it the let the the points associated with it, each letter can be indexed by points uh zero for zero for a uh one for b two for c and so on but how can we get this zero to represent A? What we could do is by looking at the ASCII table given in the problem set. So as you can see, the capital letter A is depicted by the number 65 and the lowercase letter A is depicted by the number 97. So what we could do is by checking if the letter which we are checking is an uppercase character or a lowercase character. So if if a word i needs to index into the letter in the word, so we check if word i is here, is upper, is upper word i. Okay, simple. And then it will return a boolean. So if this is true, it will enter this if condition. So in this if con condition, what we want to write is the total points equals to now we check points this to get the the point that is this to get the point that is represented with the letter and what we could do is we get the letter here okay minus with the with the number a capital a which is 65 okay so what is this doing? This is, uh, we can just look into the inner bracket, uh, the outer bracket first. As you can see, this is the individual character minus 65. So for example, this character is A. A minus 65 is zero. So we'll be entering, we'll be getting this number here. And if we have B here, it will be uh, 66 minus 65, which is one, which is this number here. 
So this is how we index into the points which is representing the letter that we have indexed into. So the total points is going to be this points plus by the uh, added to the original points. So what we could do is do something like this. So the previous total points added with the new total points will be the final total point. And there's a short form to doing this, which is just uh, plus equals, okay? Whatever I wrote previously, and this is the exact same thing, but it's just uh, a smarter way of writing it, a shorter way of writing it, perhaps. So this is for when it's uppercase. However, there's also another condition, which is, is lower. And so in this program, it doesn't matter if the letter entered is an uppercase letter or a lowercase letter, they will have the same points awarded to them. So we can do the exact same thing uh, as we did earlier, but it's going to be slightly different. In the, first, in the first scenario, we minus 65 because the uppercase A is 65. And to index into the first point here, we'll have to we'll have to make the value of a equals to zero. So we're taking 65 minus 65, which is zero. 66 minus 65, which is one, to enter here. But then in this situation, we have to enter the smaller case a. So we have to minus 97. So if in the situation, if in a scenario where the user enters a smaller case a, we'll be indexing into the points index 0 because here this will be representing 97 minus 97 which is 0 the first array there so that's pretty straightforward just to remind you guys if you guys are not understanding what's going on just sit down and contemplate about uh, this code if even after that you don't seem to understand comment down below and i'll try my best to help you guys out yeah uh, comment down below and I'll be sure to reply to every one of your comments as much as possible. So we have the uppercase and the lowercase, but there is one other condition that we forgot to add. Characters that are not letters should be given zero points and uppercase and lowercase letters should be given the same point values. So we, we have implemented the second portion of this sentence, but we haven't implemented the first portion which is characters that are not letters should be given zero points. So um, this is uh, else if, and the last one is going to be else. So else, if it's not a character which is a letter, we'll just uh, do nothing, all right? Mm, if we are doing nothing, we don't really have to add this in here. Uh, yeah, that's about it actually. Uh, let's try to run this program and see if it works. Let's just initialize the total points variable uh, to zero. Okay. If we don't initialize it to zero, there will be a problem uh, because we don't know what to add to these points. Uh, we don't know where the po uh, total point is starting. Okay. Now let's try to run this prob uh, run this program. Um, CD Scrabble, uh, make Scrabble, probably some errors, yep, semicolons, and yeah, make Scrabble, okay, so um, yeah, there's another part to this problem, which is to print the winner, okay, so, uh, and also, this compute score function is returning the total points to be stored in these two variables so I'll have to return uh, return total points at the end of this function and afterwards we check uh, who's who who scored more points so um, if score 1 is more than score 2 then then what we do is player 1 wins awesome uh, else if Two wins, all right. And in the last case, it's else print f tie. Awesome. Uh, let me just add in a backslash n at the very end, just to make it look a little neat. Okay, so now it should be working. Okay, mix Scrabble works. Scrabble. Uh, let's try 
Let's try some of the examples they gave. Question, question. Thai, okay, that's awesome. Um, I'm too lazy to try the others. Let's just check 50. So um, we have come to the end of this problem set. Thank you for anyone who's watched this far. If you like this video, tap the like button and consider subscribing. If you have any questions regarding this problem set or any other problem set, feel free to comment down below and I'll try my best to reply to your problems. Alright, so it looks like everything's perfectly correct. Um, that's the end of this video. Bye-bye.